Hello, this is Daniel from Samdance Coach. I have gotten the opportunity to try out the latest beta version of the PlayStation 5 firmware. Among new features, like for example being able to mute the startup sound and the PS5 being able to support internal SSDs up to 8TB, which I predicted in my past video about installing an internal SSD, we finally get the option to have 3D audio sound in Dolby Atmos. This is a big deal if you own a home theater setup or you have a high quality soundbar at home. Even before the PS5 was released, Mark Cerny, lead system architect of the PlayStation 5, talked about Sony's own version of 3D audio and how it will support headphones and TV speakers first and plans to bring it to the soundbars and home theater systems later on. Two years later, we are finally getting this update and we can use Sony's own 3D audio system called Tempest 3D Audio with our Home Audio Dolby Atmos home theater systems. Before this update and owning surround sound compatible TVs, soundbars or full home theater systems, the best surround sound we could get out of a PS5 was in the form of a regular 5.1 or 7.1 setup, which did not include overhead speakers like you have in a Dolby Atmos setup. The sound was pretty much on par with the surround sound a PlayStation 4 offered. You had the option to upmix the surround sound to all speakers with extra AV receiver functions, like DTS Neural X, but it's not as good as real native Dolby Atmos mixed with height speakers in mind. Now with the PlayStation 5 finally supporting Dolby Atmos, which Microsoft Xbox Series consoles supported from launch day, both consoles are up to par in the surround sound department. How to envision 3D audio If you have never heard Dolby Atmos surround sound yourself, envision everything more dimensional sounding. Sound at different heights and distances. Imagine it being more 3D around you in the sense of audio surrounding you compared to a regular sound just plainly playing through the speakers, left, right, center and so on. It all creates more a complete and seamless audio scene that you sit right in the middle of. Sound and music literally surrounding you and in the case of Atmos, it builds a sound dome around your seating position. And since the video game is interactive, the sound and position change depending what you are doing in the game world, which draws you even deeper into the game. This is the beta firmware updater. Running through the installation process is easy and shouldn't take long if you have a fast internet connection. The new firmware also updates your DualSense controller, which you should do when trying out this new PS5 firmware. You can choose now between TV sound, AV receiver and soundbar. In my case I'm using my Onkyo RZ50 Dolby Atmos AV receiver, so I'll be switching to the AV receiver settings. On the bottom I'm now able to choose Dolby Atmos for the audio format output. This also deactivates speaker settings altogether, since Dolby Atmos and your receiver settings will take over these options now. And when I check my Onkyo sound settings, I can see that actually Dolby Atmos is coming from the PS5 now. Awesome! Every Tempest 3D audio supported game should translate well into Dolby Atmos, once you have it set up in the system settings of the PS5. At least that's the theory, so let's find out if that's the case. Now let's give it a try. Since I can't really show you 3D audio in a video, I'm going through each game I tested and tell you about how my experience is having Dolby Atmos engaged. What better place to start than with Astro's Playroom, where the PS5 journey for all of us started. As a great demo piece, it also supports the Tempest 3D sound, which should translate into Dolby Atmos now. As soon as I start the game, I can feel the audio effects already being more three-dimensional. Overhead effects are not often used, but for example in this scene, where birds are flying over Astro's head, the sound is coming through my ceiling speakers, 
making you think the birds are actually flying above your own head. In this level you can hear the enemies fly across the room when you kick them. Or the helicopter enemy fly all around you. The wind blowing all around you is a nice sound effect as well. Not everything was thought of though during the sound design of this game. Like I expected the rain in this level coming from the ceiling speakers, but it doesn't. Next, Spider-Man Remaster. The sound effects are very clear and separated as well as being placed tighter around you. Unfortunately I could not hear any support for ceiling firing speakers in this game, at least during my time with the game. Same in Demon Souls. No crows flying directly above our heads. But some of my tested titles are also older and Sony Tempest 3D audio was brand new for the developers. So they can't be all perfect in the sound department. So let's keep looking. Next up, Returnal. Instantly I feel like being inside the game and yes, in this title we have ceiling speaker support with rain and thunder coming straight down on us. Very cool as you can also hear echoes reflecting from walls as you run and shoot your way around. Next, No Man's Sky. The game definitely uses the height speakers, but not on a constant basis. Still a nice wide sound stage to enjoy. In Gran Turismo 7, I could not hear any use of every single Dolby Atmos speaker either. In this game, I would have loved to hear the wind through the ceiling speakers, especially when being on the outside perspective or driving in a convertible car. No echo in tunnels either. Definitely room for some sound improvement left for an already great game. Horizon Forbidden West. Full 3D audio support here as I can hear birds, the wind and rain coming from above and all around me. Very well done. A very good example on how to use the Tempest 3D audio system being translated to Dolby Atmos. And as a final test I tried out Final Fantasy 16, which uses every speaker in my sound setup. Again, birds and wind noises up on top and even the water well can be heard in all dimensions depending where you put the camera. Not every game that supports Sony's Tempest 3D audio puts out audio in the ceiling speakers of Dolby Atmos setups, but it does in general make the sound sound more encompassing than the regular 5.1 or 7.1 sound settings, which is a great plus. Even older titles become more exciting sounding, so it is worth going back to older games as well. Also, if a game doesn't support Tempest 3D audio, like for example Elden Ring, you will get the regular surround sound like before the Dolby Atmos update. Now that we have Dolby Atmos support, I hope that more game developers will use the 3D audio feature and take it into account into their future games. The more dimensional sound is, the more it draws you deeper into the game and makes the whole experience even more movie theater like, which I personally very much enjoy. Also I could not feel any latency when enabling Dolby Atmos so the whole update is definitely something you should check out. How about you? Do you have a Dolby Atmos soundbar or even a Dolby Atmos AV receiver set up in your home that you love to play games on? Tell me all about it in the comments of this video. I hope this video was insightful and made you excited for the new features coming to PlayStation 5. Please consider liking and subscribing to this channel if you would like to see more of my videos, cool tech reviews and games. It really helps me to make more content for you in the future. Until then, I will see you next time on Sam Dan's Couch.